Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Rachel Sumner, and I am the host of tonight's Club Passim live stream. In a few moments, Willie Porter is going to take over and treat you to a live set of music, but I'd like to take a moment and tell you a little bit about Club Passim and our mission. Club Passim is a nonprofit organization that's been around for over 60 years. In normal times, we put on shows every night in an intimate little basement in Harvard Square, located in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, the club itself has been dark since March, but we've managed to move all of our programming online, including shows and classes at our School of Music, which just began a new semester. Uh, we've got a bunch of great workshops coming up uh, with the school. Um, this Sunday, the legendary songwriter Freebo is going to do his Song Doctor workshop, which is backed by popular demand. Uh, in that workshop, you get to bring Freebo one of your songs and play it for him and then get instant feedback. It's really, really great. Um, and then next Tuesday, uh, treat yourself to a little break during the lunch hour and join the, join music therapist Emily Baker for her Songs of Healing lunchtime workshop. That's going to be a one hour workshop. Uh, we've got um, a few of those, a little series going on, and there will be a special election day uh, lunchtime Songs of Healing workshop to bring a little calm into your life on what uh, is going to be a, a hectic day for, for everybody, no matter what. Um, you can learn more about that and more about uh, all of our other workshops. We've got plenty of workshops coming up uh, at passing.org slash classes. You can register and check out uh, what we've got coming up. We've just begun accepting applications for the Iguana Music Fund grants. Uh, for the past 12 years, the Iguana Fund, along with Passim, has financed hundreds of projects to, uh, to the benefit of our musical community, including Della May, Oompa, and Lake Street Dive. Um, the way music enriches our community is so vital, and uh, so we wanted to make sure that the Iguana Music Fund did not stop this year, uh, despite so many things being postponed. Um, it's back and applications are now open. Uh, there's funding available for projects, so many different kinds of projects, uh, anything you might be working on, things like recording equipment, a uh, new instrument that's gonna take your playing to the next level, um, publicity for your debut EP, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, we want to help you get your music out into the world. We want to help you advance your career. Uh, applications are open now through October 14th. Um, you can apply for free uh, at passim.org slash iguana. Passim has been working incredibly hard to connect music fans and performers through the pandemic. Um, keep in mind this crisis is hitting artists particularly hard. Uh, it was already tough to make a living uh, as a musician in this crazy industry. Uh, and now with touring completely halted, um, it's become even more difficult. So uh, live music is really valuable. Uh, you know that if you're tuned in um, and uh, it's really vital to our health and our happiness. While you're watching the live stream, uh, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, please, we suggest making a donation of $32 and that is going to go uh, to support Passim and to support Willie Porter. Um, so if you would like to make a donation during the show, passim.org slash stream, uh, suggested donation once again is $32, but give what you can, whatever you can. Um, and if you can't give right now, there's other ways that you can uh, support in a meaningful way. If you share this stream with your friends and your family, um, that makes a huge impact on the ability that we have and that Willie has to uh, reach an audience and increase uh, the likelihood of, of people hearing his music. Um, you can sign up for artists' email lists. You can follow them on social media. Um, and you can follow and listen, listen to artists on uh, streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, all of those things. Um, this is likely going to be happening for a while and uh, we need to do what we can to keep supporting the artists uh, that bring such richness to our community. So please, if you can, donate at passim.org slash stream. Thank you in advance for that. All right, um, I'm gonna hand it over uh, to Mr. Willie Porter, everybody enjoy. Thank you so much, Rachel. What a blast it is to be here in the virtual world of Passim. So hello, friends and listeners out there in cyberspace. I hope that you are all well. And um, 
Just kick things off and then we'll chat a bit.
All right. A song called Dandelion in the Minefield uh, from a self-titled album of mine. And um, it's great to be here at Club Passim. And um, thank you to Club Passim through, through the years for all that they have brought to so many people like me who, let's face it, um, we'd be homeless otherwise if it weren't for venues like Club Passim. Um, going back a bit, it was in the early 90s that I first came through and um, played a show in Maine. And a friend of mine said, you really need to go down to, to Passim. You'll get a chance to hear Eric Anderson, who, of course, is um, a legend. And um, also a New Hampshire songwriter named Tom Pierzoli, who I went to see Tom, and we hit it off, became fast friends. And um, the person that wrote recommended Hi, folks. Um, we're going to get Willie back. We're in the process of getting him back. It seems like there's a little bit of a technical difficulty. Um, so just sit tight. Uh, apologies for that. In the meantime, um, I can tell you no jokes. I am so bad at jokes, but I can tell you a little bit more about uh, the School of Music. So what I do uh, during the, the daytime is I, I run the School of Music, so that's kind of uh, my specialty. We've got some great stuff coming up. Um, we have, uh, as I mentioned before, we've got the Song Doctor with Freebo. Um, coming up and we've got the lunchtime workshop that I mentioned as well. Uh, there's going to be a classic country songwriting uh, workshop that will be happening with Joby um, Riccio and uh, that's going, going to be really wonderful. Um, we've got the fabulous Kaya Cater uh, coming up. She's going to be doing a beginner old time banjo workshop uh, for anybody who's brand new to the banjo. And we've got, uh, she's also doing a songwriting workshop called Finding Your Own Voice in Songwriting. Um, so if you'd like to look at those while you're waiting for Willie to come back, um, go to passing.org slash classes. Let's see. We'll be right back. Give me one moment.
All right. It looks like we're back. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Sorry, friends. Our whole internet just went down in that last moment there. Um, where was I? I was talking about how I met a great songwriting friend. At Passim, and um, if I hadn't been in the room at that club that night, I never would have met him and never would have written this song and countless others. We've written a lot of tunes together. So I'll play you one of the songs I wrote with Tom Pirazzoli, who I met at the club back in 1991. Yeah, I think we're back. So, got to love this technology stuff. Um, thanks for your patience, everybody.
could not let this pass twice. I asked him to leave, and I asked him nice. He said, I only a fool would not have had her by now. I'm just passing through, and she's the load. Could not let this man break her heart twice, and I'm buried him deep beneath the big yellow pine. Yeah, I'm buried him deep beneath the big yellow pine. Big Yellow Pine. Thanks to Club Passim, that song actually exists. So if you're just tuning in, my name's Willie Porter, and I've sort of taken over for a moment here on the magical uh, Passim uh, stream, if you will. So I miss playing there. I was booked to play in the spring, and of course we had, uh, had to scupper all those plans and move them back. But happy to be here, and thank you for your kind support of both my music and this incredible venue that sustains so many artists and has brought so many of us um, together into a broader community of musicians, writers, and people who are really kind of excited about change in the world and um, what that can look like, how people can empower each other. So a lot of fun to be, to be here tonight. Um, do a song for you that... Um, It's from a recent recording of mine, and uh, the song was written by a great friend that I mentioned earlier, L.J. Booth, um, who lives in Wisconsin and um, has written some truly remarkable songs. Um, of course, I love all of his work, but this song is one that I, I just have always loved and have known about it for I guess since 1988 or 89, when, um, yeah, 88, when I was still in college, LJ came through and played this song at the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire, where I was going to school. And um, I was running the coffee house there. And he stopped through and played a series of concerts for us. And this tune just really blew me away then. And I think it, it's one that holds up so well. It presents the idea that perhaps the wind is all knowing and all powerful in a Sanskrit. Um, way in, um, in Sanskrit an Akashic substance is something that is all knowing and all powerful and so in this case it is an Akasha wind
Something's moving out tonight It sifted through the trees and the last horizon light Down where the creek flows through the fence You can hear it singing in the wires Singing oh, 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 oh gosh, oh. Through the trees, it's thumbing through the documents as it passes down the ridge. Reading history's relief on every line of every leaf, singing, Oh, 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 oh gosh. Sit his hands in the night wind that are reading the forest like braille, and every tree is a library, and every leaf tells a tale. No scholar like the wind Touches everything it passes And circles round again What it finds it leaves no clue Except for a whistling in the flu Singing oh A caution Something's moving out tonight. It's sifted through the trees and the last horizon light. Down where the creek flows through the fence, you can hear it singing in the wires. Singing, oh, 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 oh gosh. I hear it singing in the wires, yeah. oh, gosh, yeah. yeah, yeah, tuned by the great L.J. Booth and um, Akasha Wind. I recorded that on my album Mnemonic which came out, I think, last fall. So I'm due for a new thing, I'll admit it. And um, I'm working on one. But um, I'm going to play a few songs that are um, they've been kicking around for a minute. If you're just tuning in, I'm Willie Porter. Glad to be here. do an instrumental for you for the, from this uh, from my last album from Mnemonic and a song that um, looks like there's a message there. Let me see what that says. <laughs> I've got 56 year old eyes and they just can't see that little screen. So um, if you guys are commenting in real time, I'll see those afterwards. I, um, I'm kind of one of those dogs that can only do one trick at a time. So and um, this is my trick for today. 
But I'm really inspired by the natural world, and um, that fascination has filtered into my music for years and years and years. And this song is no exception. Um, the Bears Ears National Monument um, was protected years ago, but uh, President Obama had expanded the area that was protected. And as soon as the, the latest regime took power, they decreased it um, substantially. But a lot of that decrease is still tied up in the courts, so I understand. And um, I hope it stays there for a long time. A friend of mine said to me, the Bureau of Land Management was such a great organization because it was such a bureaucracy. In the course of one administration, you couldn't make these wholesale changes to land management because it would get stuck. It would have to go through all these hoops, flaming hoops of cheese, before any sort of uh, transfer of jurisdiction could actually take place. So in that case, um, I can only hope that we hang on to these treasures that we have, like Bear's Ears. Um, the Native American mythology that is so omnipresent in that area is also a factor in this tune. The great law, the great law states that anything we do to each other, to ourselves, think any behavior we engage in, we should consider seven years before our time and seven years after. And if we apply that sort of rubric, all of a sudden, um, we take our time making moves, don't we? And also, uh, there's a little more accountability for the action that we do take. So, in the eyes of our great, 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 great grandchildren. So, that's where this song is coming from, really, people. And um, thank you for being here, lending an ear and an eye. This is Bears Ears and the Great Law.
Bears Ears and the Great Law, and uh, from the album Mnemonic. And um, thank you, Passim, for uh, allowing me to take over the zeros and ones for the evening. I'm very, very grateful. Um, so many people that I have come across through the years, um, you know, certainly that um, I met through the opportunity to come through Boston and Cambridge. And um, I remember way back when Peter Mulvey originally moved away from Milwaukee to move to Cambridge and Boston, and what an exciting move that was. And um, I guess the rest, as they say, is history. But he's still a Milltown boy, and we still claim him as one of our own. Milwaukee is kind of like an amoeba. Um, the people that depart from here um, still have genetic coding material that resonates back to the whole. So um, they may seem as though they've, they've absolutely assumed a new um, form and um, a new gelatinous nature, but in fact, they're still Milwaukeeans. And Mulvey's one of our, our proud exports. Um, in any event, I digress. It's fun to talk about him because I love him. But here's this other thing, and we'll do that first, and then we'll chat some more. All right. Do a little tune, Aruna, um, inspired by community. I want to let you know that every Saturday night I do a thing called Live from the Bunker, and uh, it's on my Facebook page, at Willie Porter Music. 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. For you West Coast kids, 5 o'clock is when it's all happening. This song is from an album called Dog Your Dream, and uh, an album that came out in 1994 originally. And, um, and then I um, got a record deal and all that misery kicked in. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. All right. Um, but this is a tune called The Boab Tree. And again, it's one I wrote with Tom Pirazzoli. If it weren't path for Passim, this, this song wouldn't exist either. Isn't that cool? I just want to say, speaking of that community that extends out, I was so lost one time in the fog coming into Passim back in the days when cell phones were the size of a shoebox. And I remember calling the club, and I got Ellis Paul on the phone, who then gave me the coordinates necessary to find said venue. So Ellis Paul is somebody else who I also became good friends with through Passim and through that community connection. And also Vance Gilbert came in one night and literally stole my gig away from me as Vance is likely to do um, with his power of presence and and just <laughs> the stuff that he said on stage I, I can't repeat it now because he's not here I would love it if he was but it changed my life so I love you Vance wherever you are all right the Boab tree Out of the corner of my eye, 
I was lying barely half awake Men and women in a circle Outlined faces on the dark land On the lamp they gather This lamp swaying in the wind In the rain Comes down In the rain Comes down Sun so hot and by day, by night the cool moon overhead. Tribal dances of ancient days call the skies to bring the rain. Gather under the moat tree, symbol of life there beneath. On the lamp they gather Australian Aborigines The rain Comes down The The Boab Tree from the Dog You Dream record. And uh, I'm Willie Porter. Just 
to having some fun on a Wednesday, everybody. We're getting our Wednesday on, and it is a delight to be here with all of you. We can try and see how much time we have left here. My eyes are not so good, my friends. And uh, oh, we got time for one more tune. Um, thank you so much to Rachel. Thank you to Matt. Thank you to all the volunteers that um, have kept Passim thriving for so many years now. And um, thank you for the sustenance that it provides. It's such a great thing when you look and you know that shows on, on your tour schedule and you get to go back. Um, it's kind of like going to camp. And I know there is a Passim camp. I've never gone, but um, it feels like camp when you go there. So I've never had a bad time there. Um, do one more song for you. And um, this Saturday at 7, I'll be featuring all of the music from my fifth album, an album called Available Light. So I'll take you guys out with the title track from that album now. And let's see here. It's good to mute this before I unplug it. Again, thanks for your patience with the technicals that we had earlier. Um, our whole household internet just went down for a minute. Luckily, I've got some teenage tech support here in the form of my son, Liam, who is the coolest cat under pressure that I know. And um, he was like, I'm just rebooting, Dad. That's it. Stay cool. So here we are back at you again. So let's see here. Bring this guy out. This song, um, inspired by all the people out there who seem to get more done in the morning than I get done in two days. So take care of each other, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in and, um, and for your support. I will be on my Facebook page, as I said, on Saturday at 7, 8 o'clock for you East Coasters. Take good care of each other. up to heaven with his telescope he found a new way to see what was out of sight making the most of the evening of our light making the most of the evening of our
there's overcast skies between lies and truth and we all blame each other for what we can't see through but in the back of your mind I see a flicker of flame I only live most of the night that Thank you all so much, and thank you to Club Passim for the fine opportunity to be here this evening. Take care of each other, and um, we hope we get back in action soon, back to the real thing. Be well, and God bless. Willie Porter, everybody. How about that? Um, thank you so much, Willie, for that amazing set. Um, Folks, if you enjoyed the show, please make a donation uh, to support Willie and to support Passim. Uh, we're suggesting a donation of $32, but anything helps. Um, we really appreciate you guys supporting Passim during this really difficult time, and we hope that it's become a little bit of a, a, a light in your um, in your lives. Uh, Go to passim.org slash stream if you can donate. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, be sure to check out willieporter.com. Uh, Bandcamp Friday is coming up next week. So uh, Willie's got a Bandcamp, um, willieporter.bandcamp.com. Uh, and, and Bandcamp Friday is a wonderful day where Bandcamp waves all the fees. So be sure to support him uh, as well. And tune in to his Facebook Live on Saturday. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in tomorrow. We've got Rachel Davis, um, at eight o'clock. So we hope to see you here at eight o'clock. Thank you all so, so much. Have a wonderful evening.